Malawi, beautiful but poor, where people are being driven to strip forested slopes and reserves to meet the urban dwellers' demand for charcoal. Charcoal and wood is not only being burnt in the home, but also by industry. To combat this crisis, Probec, the programme for biomass energy conservation, has joined forces with Peter Scott from the NGO Aprovecho to design a rocket stove to radically reduce the amount of wood consumed. Well, we try to address the deforestation and, of course, also the economy of people who are using firewood for cooking. And that is mostly even over 95% of Malawian households. Even those that have got electricity, they cook on firewood or charcoal. We have seen forest reserves in three years completely gone, not a single tree standing there. There is an alternative. If you use firewood or, how we say, non-tree-based wood fuels, meaning shrubs like pigeon peas or bamboo, you can still cook on them if you have got a good technology that is giving you the energy into the cooking pot that you need. Using the new rocket stove, the amount of wood needed for cooking can be substantially reduced. What we've got here is a rocket stove, and as you see there are only a few pieces of firewood in, and these few pieces are enough to cook 40 litres of water easily. And the reason is we have improved the combustion and the heat transfer, and now in between the fire and the outside we put insulation and that retains the heat in the fire, meaning the fire itself gets hotter than a normal open fire. And with these higher temperatures, the smoke is burnt, which is a great health impact. Ah, a little bit of smoke, only when starting the fire. But as soon as the fire is, as it is now, as soon as the fire is ready, then no smoke again. The firewood is resting on this metal shelf and the air for the combustion is hitting the firewood from the bottom, which is also better for combustion. But the combustion chamber is quite high. And this is for the reason that the hottest spot of the flames is actually above the flames. Above this combustion chamber there's this skirt, which is to shield the pot from wind, and the more important reason is to increase heat transfer into the pot. The fire temperatures can be between 8 and 900 degrees C. We are getting the expertise in to develop the technology that is convenient for the users here and then we try to, pro to train producers who then do that on a commercial approach. My business, uh, I deal with metals. I'm doing metal work. So these guys from GDZS came to me one time and asked me if I can be one of the rocket producers. So they brought in somebody called Peter Scott who taught me everything about rocket. So I started it from there. I'm making household stops and uh, we're making institution ones from the same rocket system. A range of sizes and styles are designed for the benefit of different users. When using uh, that open place, uh, it was taking roughly an hour to boil something like this, this pot. But uh, using this uh, stove, it takes only 20 or so minutes. In the first place, for instance, we we're using firewood for one week. And when we started using this one, the same amount of uh, firewood for two weeks, it is a great improvement. Tea picking is a major source of employment and providing meals for the workers used to demand large quantities of fuel wood. Now, thanks to the rocket stove, the amount being used for cooking at the Lauderdale Tea Factory has been cut dramatically. We use 90 to 95 percent less firewood cooking in here than we do cooking outside. We'll have a full kitchen of these things everywhere, I would imagine, by the end of three years' time. It's very, very good indeed. We're delighted with it. So we're building up capacity to create the supply of the technologies and especially a sustainable supply, which is when you, as the initiator of the process, become redundant. It works on its own, and that is what has happened here. When I was beginning this, you know, I had uh, about two, three people and uh, one machine. Then I increased machines because of the work of these rockets, and uh, now I, I, I'm employing about uh, 27 people. As the business spreads, more and more individuals and institutions will be reaping the benefits of the rocket stove. We buy these stoves from Ken Chirewe, and these stoves work very well with our project because we do the feeding of children in primary schools. And the stoves are very effective indeed. We are feeding 
75,000 children every day and at the primary schools every morning using the rocket stops.